guys, I'm Eileen. If you're new here, I post a video every week about fashion and luxury and I'd love for you to join my YouTube family. So today's video is about my Hermes Lindy. So this is in the size 26. They call this the 26 because it measures 26 centimeters from here to there. This is actually the smaller size. They also do one in the size 30 and 34. I usually prefer smaller handbags. That's why I went for the smaller size. Now, if you're quite petite, the size 26 should work very well for you. So just for reference, I'm about 162 centimeters tall and about 50 kilograms. And I think the size 26 works perfect on my frame. So this color is called Sarge, which is a light green color with a gray undertone. Now, if you know me, I'm a very neutral person. So I never thought I would ever buy a handbag in a green color. But when I saw this color, I thought it's the perfect neutral green, if that makes sense. Now, I especially like to wear this handbag in the summer because that's when I wear a lot of elements in white. So I think this Lindy helps to add a bit of color to my outfits in a very nice way. To me, this is a very wearable color because it's not a very bright color or a statement color that can steal away all the attention from your outfit. So I think styling this bag is relatively easy. The Lindy is a fairly new design from Hermes. It was only launched in 2007. Now I think the design is quite unconventional from Hermes, especially if you compare it to a Birkin or a Kelly. Nevertheless, it has become a very popular handbag for a lot of Hermes lovers, including myself. I think the design is so clever. It looks so cute and playful, but at the same time, it's a very practical handbag. A lot of people say a Lindy looks a bit like a dumpling or a fortune cookie. And to me, the design of a Lindy is just one of a kind. In terms of flatters, you can usually find a Lindy in either Swift, Suede, Evercolor or Clamons. So mine is in the Clamons ladder, which is basically a textured calfskin ladder. The grains on the Clamons are typically bigger compared to those on the Togo ladder. This material is quite durable because it's scratch resistant. Although if it gets into contact with water, it can form a very unsightly blister. I was actually caught in a drizzle quite a few times, but I quickly wiped the bag down with some tissue paper and everything was okay. But you do want to be careful with water. Now the Clamon's ladder is also known to be a bit heavy, therefore it does look a bit slouchy. But to me, I think that makes it the perfect material for a Lindy bag because a Lindy is designed to look slouchy, relaxed and playful. They are 5 feet on the bottom of the handbag. Now I have a thing for handbags with feet. I don't know, I think they just add a little something to a handbag. Um, it's almost like the handbag looks more substantial with feet on the bottom. And in terms of hardware, mine is in the silver hardware. Now my seal associate told me that most of the Lindy bags are made with silver hardware, so it can be quite tricky to find one in the gold hardware. Personally, I love how the silver hardware complements the shade of this color. And I'm quite happy with having just one Lindy in my collection. But if I ever get another Lindy, I hope I can get one in the gold hardware. So the Lindy comes with two handles and a shoulder strap. The shoulder strap is not detachable and is certainly too short to be used crossbody. There are three ways you can carry a Lindy bag. So first of all, you can use the shoulder strap to carry the bag as a shoulder bag. Or you can carry the handles on the crook of your arm or just carry the bag as a top handle bag. I usually prefer to use the handles because I think the handbag looks very cute that way. But I would say it feels very comfortable as a shoulder bag because the shoulder strap does stay put on my shoulder. Now some people say a Lindy can feel a bit bulky when you use it as a shoulder bag. But for me, it's not really a problem unless if you really feel the bag to the brim, then it might actually feel a bit boxy because it does have a square side profile.
So as you can see, I've added twillies to my handles. I love the way it turns out, I just think it looks really cute. But adding twillies to the handles can restrict the movement of the shoulder strap. So for example, if I'm in a rush and I just grab the shoulder strap, often the strap can get caught along the handles. And I do have to adjust the strap to the right place before I can carry the lindy as a shoulder bag. On the other hand, without the twillies, the strap should move quite smoothly along the handles. I've left my twillies on anyway because I just really like the way they look on the lean day. Plus, as I mentioned before, I never really use this bag as a shoulder bag, so to me, it's not much of a problem. The opening mechanism is a turn lock opening, so it's quite similar to that of a Birkin or a Kelly, and I think it's a lot of work to undo the opening. So when I carry the bag, just like carrying a Birkin or a Kelly, I would just leave the clasp open. There are two zippers on top of the handbags, so I usually will just unzip one of them, and I find that the opening is big enough for me to get in and get anything I need. And really, if you're not carrying the bag, so let's say if the bag is on the table, you can even just leave the zippers and then just lift the flap and then the opening again is big enough for you to get your things. I like the fact that the lindy feels quite secure because the flap does cover the whole opening and when you carry the bag, it does slouch in the middle so access is quite restricted for wandering hands. There are four pockets on the lindy, so there are two outside pockets and then two more on the inside. Now the outside pockets are big enough to carry an iPhone 8 Plus but it does stick out quite a bit so I usually just leave my phone inside the bag. Anyway, I think these pockets are very handy to have especially for things like parking tickets or receipts. I don't often use the inside pockets but I think they are great for storing things like cash or other important belongings. Now the Lindy 26 might look very small but it's actually very roomy. I can fit all my daily essentials and there's still a lot of room left. However, I don't recommend filling the bag to the brim because it can start to look a bit boxy. And that's the reason why I don't use a bag insert because I really want to keep the slouchy look of a Lindy. Having said that, the bottom of the inside is actually made of a smooth leather. So if you're not using a bag insert, just make sure you're not leaving anything sharp inside the bag that can scratch the ladder. For example, you might want to keep your keys in a key holder or a pouch. So I bought my Lindy about four years ago, and at that point, you didn't really need a purchase history to get a Lindy. So for me, I basically just walked into a store and asked if I could get one in the size 26, and within two weeks, I got a phone call. I'm not sure if that's because this is not in a very sought after color, like black or etope. I'm also not sure if you can still get a Lindy that way because I know the size 26 is getting quite popular now so it can be a bit harder to get compared to let's say size 30 or 34. In fact, I've actually seen the size 34 on the Hermes website quite a few times. I don't usually use my Lindy for travel because I usually prefer to use crossbody bag when I go away. Nevertheless, I think it makes a very good travel bag because it's very roomy and the pockets are helpful to keep things organized and the shoulder strap is handy to have as well. When I'm not using this handbag, I'll make sure I store the bag properly. So I'll keep the airbags inside the bag to keep the bag supported. Now with Clamon's ladder, it does soften up with use. So if you look at the second hand market, you can see a lot of lindies that look very tired. So I just want to do as much as I can to prevent that from happening too soon. So that's my video about my Hermes Lindy 26. I think this is such a cute little bag and I'm so glad to have this in my collection. If you're new to Hermes, I would certainly recommend a Lindy as your first handbag. I hope you find the video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Have a good day. Thank you.